Let's talk about people who are like disco balls, little mirrors that reflect back to people what they are not. The more you walk down the path of awareness, you will realize how many people start to boatload their projections onto you because the more you stand in your light, the more you embody your authenticity and your truth and the truth of universal law, the more it triggers other people because on a subconscious level, people are able to perceive that you are this being of light. Everybody is an energetic being at their core. We all have these energetic sensors that our subconscious is able to pick up on. People can tell between the difference in frequency when you are living from a place that is fulfilling your own cup, when you are standing in your own truth, doing things that make you happy, when you work a job that doesn't feel like a job to you, when you have genuine connections in your life, people are able to pick up on that on a subconscious level and they compare it. They say, oh, this is not what I'm doing. And they are reminded on a deeper cellular level that they are not in alignment. And so because of that, you are going to be the problem. Guess what? Lightworkers, star seeds, spiritual beings, that is your job is to be the problem because by you standing in your truth, standing in your authenticity, authenticity, not backing down when outside forces and lower vibrational entities want to steal your light from you. You are holding a torch that is leading the way for millions of others to follow you, even if you don't feel it. Every time you stand up for yourself, you speak your truth, you live in authenticity, you connect to the fire in your soul, you connect to unconditional love and oneness with source. You are implementing energy into Earth's light grid that is able to be accessed by millions of people. Everybody on Earth can access Earth's light grid and you are implementing good, positive, positive energy and vibrations into that every time you do that. It might not feel like you are making a significant difference when you stand up for yourself at your job, but you are because without realizing you are giving somebody else the energy and the confidence to do the exact same thing. Somewhere, someone on the planet just stood up to their boss and finally told them how it is because you did the same. You might not ever know that. That's not your business, but that is literally a part of your job as a light worker is to just live in your truth and be in your truth because by you doing that, not only are you helping yourself and learning your own lessons and gaining your own experience, and knowledge, but you are quite literally helping the planet and raising the vibration of Mother Earth. And yes, we can know this. We can get that we are the trigger and we are here to be people's mirrors and not take any BS and show people how it is and how they are and why things should change and that there is room for change and all the beautiful ways we can make change and connect and come into this harmony and unison. But it is so hard as the person doing that, as the mirror, to also not internalize when people don't like what they see. Does anybody ask a mirror how it feels when it's show somebody a reflection of themselves and the person goes, ew, mirror probably doesn't feel too great. It's like, oh my God, I just, I just made somebody feel bad. That's what it's like to be a spiritual person. You don't realize that you are internalizing a lot of other people's projections when they don't like what they see, when in reality, what they see is their own behavior. If you stand up to your boss who isn't treating you correctly, it's not that they don't appreciate you standing up for yourself. It's that they don't like being reminded that they did something wrong. So instead, the scenario is going to be twisted and you are going to be the problem instead of accountability being taken. But that's where it's hard for the spiritual being to not internalize any of that because when it comes to a real life scenario and you are the mirror and somebody is saying, ew, I don't like that reflection. You think you're the issue, but you're not. Because people aren't really saying ew to the mirror. They are saying ew to the reflection that they're seeing. And that is so important for you to remember so that you don't internalize other people's projections onto you because they are seeing the depths of darkness within themselves through your light. Everything done in darkness always comes to light and your light acts like a flashlight that is exposing that darkness and they don't want to see it. They don't want to see that possibility in their reflection. But that's why it's your job to keep living the way you do and being the way you are. Stand the way you stand and speak the way you speak because you are changing the world. You are not only learning lessons for yourself, but you are also helping other people grow and making them face their own stuff. But obviously people don't like that and nobody wants really self-awareness. Nobody wants to take accountability for their reality and know that they can be contributing to why they are not happy in their life. But guess what? We know that. We know that. As spiritual people, we know that being spiritual is not crystals and astrology and candles and living in Delulu land. We know it is facing our demons. We know it is looking that darkness in the face and making it our best friend and saying, come with me. Let's travel this road together so that we can heal. We can love. We can become the person that we are meant here to be together. Together we rise. Most people don't want to do that. Most people will never do that. So they're going to make you the problem. And that is where it is your job as the mirror to not internalize it. Stand in your truth, stand in your light, be the reminder for people, obviously with some grace. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to explode. Although sometimes it is warranted. Just continue being you. Your life is your message. When you just embody 
everything that you believe. Everybody is faced with something to learn, you and the people you're triggering. And sometimes it's hard for everyone. It's uncomfortable for everyone, but nobody said it was easy. Growth happens outside the comfort zone, okay? So as a spiritual person, understand that it is literally a part of your job description to make people uncomfortable, including yourself. We're here to plant seeds in the brains of others that eventually blossom into new awarenesses. And that is done through our action, through our being, through the way in which we speak to others, connect with others, our very life. Like I said, our life is our message. And you are just this little mirror ball that is reflecting back to people everything that they are and are not. And people are not always going to love that. There will be some people that love you for it. Some people that you build honest, deep, genuine connections with because real recognizes real. And then there will be people that just do not like what they see, but it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Do not take it personally and realize it's just a part of the job description. You don't like what you see? That's on you, baby. But nobody warned me about that. So it took a lot for me to come into this awareness of the fact that I was a mirror. I had to put the puzzle pieces together of realizing that the theme of my life tended to be that I would rapidly drop through friends and realizing it was always when I stuck up for myself. It was always when I lived in my authenticity and stood in my truth and in a respectful and kind, loving way. But that's when the friends would drop. I also had to take accountability for where I was the problem. And I am a Libra moon. I'm seeing all sides after I'm able to see a situation holistically 360 every which way around and and understand where it is how I'm showing up could be a problem, but also where it is that I am just a mirror. I was then able to see wow, people have a really hard time looking at themselves through me because people will make you feel like I said, like you're the problem when you are feeling a type of way. If you are being disrespected by a job, they will make you feel like you are the problem. They're going to test your light. They want to dim your light. So this energy is going to ask, are you going to stand up to the plate and show us what you're worth? Show us that fire. Show us who you really are. That is this authentic, wholesome being that is worthy of respect and self-love and exercise that. Or are you just going to take it? And there's a very fine line where you will be made to feel from this internalization of other people's projections that you are the problem when you are not the problem. And nobody told me that, which is why I'm telling you I've, I've done the work. And yes, you do need to be accountable to a certain degree, but also duality exists and multiple things are real at once. And people are also seeing you as a mirror, even though you have your own sets of behaviors, patterns, beliefs, thought systems, ways of existing on the planet. Investigate your own behavior, of course, and be accountable for how you show up, but also remember that people are projecting onto you. They are seeing themselves through you because you are this mirror. As a spiritual person walking a path of consciousness and awareness, you are going to be reflecting back to people everything they are and they are not. Some people will love it. Some people will hate it. And it has nothing to do with you. And so it is. Love you.